In this video, I'm going to show you how ChatGPT helped me to save thousands of dollars by becoming a DeFi analyst for me with proper prompts and DeFi Llama plugin. So there's a new plugin for ChatGPT. You will need to have a plus version of ChatGPT. This is the paid version. You pay $20 for that, but it's definitely worth the price. And you'll be able to connect to a bunch of plugins, DeFi Llama plugin included. So DeFi Llama is one of the top services, if not the top free service for all the data related to DeFi and various protocols, uh, all the potential indexes like TVL, total value locked, uh, all the potential launches, airdrops, fees generated, and much, much more. It's super interesting, but you might get lost in all the data available here. But with ChatGPT, you are now able to actually query the data in natural language, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So we're back to ChatGPT. You can see that what I have chosen here is uh, GPT-4 model and I have enabled plugins uh, for uh, for DeFi Llama. In order to do that, you will need to go to settings in your account and then uh, go to the beta, the beta settings and you'll need to cross that you want to use plugins. And then once you have that and once you create a new chat, you'll be able to choose GPT-4 and then add the plugin and search for DeFi Llama. Now, if you have enabled plugins DeFi Llama, uh, you're good to go and I'm going to show you what you can do. Plus on top of that, in this video, I'm going to show you also what to, can you look at uh, by yourself. So even if you don't have ChatGPT or you don't want to buy it, you can still uh, use this video to have some ideas for what kind of data you might want to look at because all the data is available for free on DeFi Llama. So you can search for that and discover new protocols. Of course, nothing here is financial advice. I'm going to purely uh, give you all the details and information for uh, your uh, own uh, research then. Uh, but let's get started with prompt. So what's really important when dealing with ChatGPT is giving context and guiding ChatGPT into the, the uh, direction you want it to go. So uh, to begin with, I'm saying that to chat GPT, you're a crypto analyst based on DeFi Llama data, give me top five fastest growing DeFi protocols in terms of TVL. And this is one of the best thing because it gives me right away uh, the data from DeFi Llama taken. And what you can see here is that uh, it's basically uh, sorted by the change in TVL uh, in the uh, in the past couple of days. So this was done already two days ago. I'm going to show you the newer version with some changes from that, but basically you already can see that uh, some of those things changed. So for example, with the like exchange you have such a big growth because basically this is a newly launched uh, alpha version. They started just listed on, uh, on DeFi Llama. So that's why the growth is so big. But for the other uh, projects, they are pretty also new. So this is also the way to discover where the money is going. Of course, TVL is not everything. This is, you have to always remember that some of those statistics can be gained. So you shouldn't ape into anything just based on the statistics, but it's a good way to analyze and find out about new projects. So we got five projects here, uh, really cool stuff. Uh, now I can also look at the fees and revenue. So fees and revenue are important because basically uh, you can think about how a particular protocol gives the money to the team. And if it's self-sustaining, it means we are thinking about the, the really good business. Uh, so of course, if I just write about fastest growing protocols in terms of fees and revenue, I will go get the top chains and that really doesn't help me that much. Maybe I can see the change uh, on, on the macro level. That might be interesting uh, where, where the money is going. But other than that, it won't let me discover new projects. But I can ask about the change of the protocols in the past seven days uh, and then you, I can get more interesting information. I can see, see things like, for example, MetaMask losing a little bit of revenue lately. On, on the other hand, PancakeSwap getting uh, a change in revenue in the past seven days. So those kind of statistics already give me something. Uh, and I can keep on asking those more specific, more detailed questions, which are really, really great. So for example, you can see here that uh, I asked about the largest percentage change in fees earned over the past week. Uh, and again, I got here a list of a couple of protocols. Now, I wanted to jump into more um, advanced uh, things that you can find on DeFi Llama, uh, especially you have PFPS, price to fees, price to sales. Only if you think about this in terms of crypto, this is market capitalization to fees earned and market capitalization to revenue. 
and if those statistics are pretty low then it might actually give you something interesting to look at uh, and basically what I asked uh, to, uh, to ChatGPT is uh, I have those two statistics explain those two and why they're important and I, then I wanted to have like top five protocols by largest PF and P PS unfortunately uh, this didn't work really great with DeFi Llama because Apparently, I, I can't really get it through DeFi, uh, through DeFi Llama plugin, but I can, of course, get it on DeFi Llama itself and sort it. Uh, but uh, it explained it pretty well. Um, and then I, I started playing around with these ideas. And also, I wanted to uh, ask about what kind of data actually I can get from DeFi Llama plugin. And uh, this gave me the, uh, and also to suggest me a uh, five ways to discover fast growing protocols by DeFi Llama. Uh, data and this is the cool thing so basically this is what I got I got that you basically can ask about TVL, TVL change, fees earned, uh, revenue earned, chain TVL for a specific chain, uh, net bridge flow so this is for bridging between two, uh, two chains or layer two solutions, yield information for top yielding protocols and protocol categories and then based on this data uh, chat GPT suggested five different ways to what I can monitor and one of them is TVL growth which is a great statistics this is what I asked in the first place uh, then I have fees to TVL ratio where I can just take um, different fees and compare them to the TVL so total value locked uh, and a high ratio might indicate that the pro protocol is generating significant fees relative to the assets it has locked which is a great sign of uh, efficiency and profitability uh, uh, and this is d definitely great however I couldn't make it work with DeFi Lama you will see that in a moment uh, on with this, at least with this plugin here on ChatGPT you can of course uh, compute that yourself if you download CSV file for all the data and of course do a little bit Excel computing not really hard Hard, but of course if you're not uh, versed in mathematics then probably it will take you a little bit of time I might show you what to do later on with that uh, next I have revenue growth uh, so I can monitor of course the high percentage growth in terms of revenue like for example in the past seven days and again again a net bridge flow uh, and yield analysis on high yield protocols now the cool stuff is that I can really take a lot of data from uh, DeFi Lama and for example I can ask about uh, top 50 protocols from DeFi Lama by fees generated in the past seven days and this is where I get for example uh, the top protocols of course in the first 10, 10 spots you will have uh, all the major chains but then you're going to start seeing interesting uh, interesting projects as well you will, for example you have things like GMX but for example Blurbit is really high level finance uh, you start discovering smaller projects that for example I haven't heard about uh, you have things like Eldorado exchange uh, you have gains networks MOOCs protocol a bunch of projects that I have been talking about on my channel but are no, not so well known and of course if you go down you'll see projects are, that are not really that well known for example baby door swap uh, and uh, things that are appearing here of course nothing here is really a financial advice you should always do more research but it's really interesting to see uh, that you get so new interesting new projects and something to get into and try to understand what's happening over there now I did the same thing with top 50 protocols by TVL change in the past seven days so how much value is being clocked so this definitely mean that new capital is flowing into these protocols and this might be interesting as well and for example you can see that just cryptos got a really lot of TVL change of course again this kind of statistic can be gamed so you shouldn't go simply by that but it might be interesting in the first place to look at that and look at the projects uh, related to this uh, to these projects uh, so you have a bunch of interesting projects uh, Vela exchange that appear with this huge growth of like uh, 6 million per, uh, percent basically uh, and a bunch of other smaller like DeFi projects uh, that you can also observe here uh, really great stuff so I wanted to have this data and then I can also compare with the like the total value lock not over the past seven days but also the, the total total uh, this also get me something interesting and different projects uh, that I could look at um, and then I wanted to, to, to compute this fees to TVL but then again uh, DeFi Llama plugin had some problems and really couldn't do the computation for me I mean it started a little bit I get some fees to TVL ratio you can see it here for a bunch uh, of protocols it suggested to me to look at the top 10 rather than top 50 uh, I wanted to simplify the job for chat GPT but still it's not the omniscient being just yet so especially for like the 
computations and taking data from different spots, you're still better with just taking the data with the Llama API or ChatGPT and then putting them in Excel, a spreadsheet, and just doing the computations yourself because actually, you know, you just have to divide one number by the other number. So it's not really a higher mathematics. Uh, and you can do it yourself in Excel pretty easily. And if case, in case of any problems, ask ChatGPT, but actually you will have to do it yourself. ChatGPT here uh, really didn't help me much. Got me a little bit of feast by TVL, but it went one by one, uh, managed to do like free, uh, free protocols and basically just stopped, but you already can see that something is happening. And if you probably get into that, you, you get interesting stuff as well. So definitely what's, what's really interesting here is that, uh, you can definitely ask about different methods for doing analysis. And then some of them you will be able to do with chat GPT for some methods, you will have to do it yourself with a spreadsheet and just import the data to the spreadsheet. And then, uh, well, the, the good thing is that you can import and easily make the computations because you get those tables that, you know, just copy and paste and to do this to a spreadsheet. I can, I can probably show that to you in another uh, video on how to do some things like that. So again, uh, I wanted to ask about other methods that ChatGPT would suggest me to discover fast growing protocols. And this is a cool, uh, cool trick that if you're using ChatGPT, you should use as well, is that you give the context. So I gave that you have already written this and I have already uh, basically just copied paste what I have uh, received before from ChatGPT with this TVL growth, fees to TVL ratio, revenue growth, and so on. Uh, and basically this way ChatGPT knows that uh, it won't just reply with the same stuff, but will it will keep on reiterating and adding new stuff. And I got a couple of interesting stuff like user activity, new listings, community engagement, integration partnerships, and so on. Mostly social things. So I, I mean, those are good things to keep an eye on, but to be honest, most of the data here is not available easily on DeFi Lama. You would have to go to like Twitter, Discord, or other services to get the data. However, I wanted to reiterate on that and ask about 10 more indexes I can compute from DeFi Lama that mathematically directly. And this was really a good point. So I got here uh, a bunch of statistics that are super important and very interesting to look at. So for example, I got again, fees to revenue, TVL concentration, which is a calculation of the percentage of total TVL that is concentrated in top pools or assets within the protocol. So I can see how diver diversified or concentrated the capital is. Uh, TVL to user ratio, uh, revenue per user, so I can use active users, how much I do, uh, how much they doing. So for example, see how many ways are in the project uh, or whether it's just for like, you know, smaller accounts, uh, protocol, very interesting stuff. Uh, asset utilization, so calculate the ratio of borrowed assets to total assets, liquidity depth, uh, yield to TVL pro ratio, cross-chain TVL, protocol dominance. So for example, percentage of TVL and protocol holds relative to the total TVL of all the protocols in the same category, uh, token circulation. So really, 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 these are great stuff. And if you're a DeFi analyst, you would definitely look at the stuff like that, uh, especially to observe, for example, how different uh, protocols are moving and whether it's a good moment to jump in or jump out of the given protocol. So as you can see, what I wanted to convey in this video is that you can really do research with ChatGPT and especially uh, if you're a fan of DeFi Lama, you can get a lot of data, a little bit of spreadsheet work, and you will have some magic and you will really get very, very interesting statistics. Uh, so really recommend looking at that. Also going back to the, uh, going back to DeFi Lama, you can see that you can get a lot of data just by, uh, just, just by going to DeFi Lama and downloading the data, just copy pasting, or uh, if you want to use more of it, uh, you can also have a look at uh, API, API, there are API docs on how to download data. So really there's a lot of things happening on DeFi Lama that you can use and it's really great. Uh, I really like it. And if you're serious about DeFi and making money with DeFi, this is the way to go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates on new coins, new DeFi and everything related to crypto tips, tricks, and everything you can do. Subscribe. See you in the next video.